Now in your workshop, you're going to discuss with your tutor and your peers some of the issues that we've explored this week. So the idea of artificial intelligence and the impact of artificial intelligence on teaching and learning, but also on various career paths and on teaching itself. Also looking at how you're going to stay up to date with changes in education around looking at changes in educational technology as they emerge each year but also engaging with the processes of research in education, either through keeping up to date with research, but also considering doing your own research into your own practice and improving that aspect. So go through in the workshop and explore these issues, and then you're going to do a, an activity, as we always do. And this time it is going to be an egg drop. So a very common digital or sorry, design and technologies activity where the emphasis is on trying to understand various materials and forces and how they can be structured to protect an egg so that as it falls three meters to the ground, it will not break. Now, you have a certain set of materials that you can create your solution from. And the idea is for you to go through a design, develop, evaluate process, and ideally several iterations of that, where you try out your idea, see if it works, maybe see if it works without the egg, um, see if it just actually can stay together, and improve upon your design through an iterative cycle. That is the foundational concept that underlies all aspects of technologies education. The idea that students fail and then learn from that failure and develop success as a result of that learning. So if they are just doing tasks where you give them instructions, say on making a cake, and they follow through exactly following your instructions and there's no possibility of them being able to make mistakes and, well, within reason, and, and um, come up with their own solutions, then that's not really technology's education. That's just following through a script or a process. So allowing students the freedom to explore, come up with their own ideas and express those ideas in their solution, even knowing that students will fail when they do that. Now, of course, you need to make sure that it still remains safe and you conduct a risk assessment around the processes involved, but you need to allow your students to make mistakes so it's through that mistake making that much of the learning will occur. So I hope you enjoy the activity and that you gain a lot of learning from your own mistakes in creating your egg drop solution.